Hello and welcome to our update this week. I'm Gaz, welcome to Broadwater News and I'm joined this afternoon by Beth. Hello Beth. Hi. Oh it's so great to have Beth back in the office. She's been off for a year. Now Beth, how old is your little one? He's called Hayden. How old is he? Uh, he's 11 months now. Oh, yeah. Walking? Very, very nearly. He can oh. walk on his own a bit. Oh, it's lovely to have you back and uh, obviously it's been a funny time with lockdown and everything else but you guys have survived, you're doing what, <laughs> yeah. you've done a house move as well yeah. and you've yeah. done an awful lot haven't you? It's been a really busy year, yeah. And you've been supported though by home group and yeah. some good friends. Yeah, That's loads good. from church. Yeah. Good. What have been one of the highlights apart from having Hayden <laughs> of the last year for you guys? Apart from the new baby. <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, just getting to spend a lot more time together. Um, there's not been so many things open, so many distractions. So we've had a really good time as a, a husband and wife. Great. And what are you looking forward to coming back to Broadwater Parish? Um, my vocabulary at coming back. <laughs> <laughs> um, having adult conversations about things other than what he's eaten. <laughs> uh, that takes a long time. I think we're, we're getting to 18 years. We're still talking about what they eat. Um, what could we pray for you and Chris and Hayden? Um, just that we managed to still get some really great experiences with him because we haven't had the opportunities that we would have liked in the last year to do things with our new baby. Um, and yeah, that he gets to meet his brothers. Let's just pray. Father, we thank you for Beth, for bringing her back to us. We thank you, Lord, for all she brings to this parish. We ask your blessing on her. Chris and Hayden, and may that fuller family uh, get to know each other well as lockdown ends. Be with them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Beth, for joining Thanks. us. And so, uh, Natalie will be with me in a moment as well, the other half of the admin team. And um, this weekend is Palm Sunday, so do come and collect your palm crosses. Natalie, where are you? You're going to join me. Oh, brilliant. Here we go. Natalie, tell me, how do people get hold of their palm crosses? And so there will be palm crosses in buckets um, out by each of our sites, so at St Stephen's, Queen Street and St Mary's from Saturday, and there'll be some hand sanitizer as well, so you can sanitize your hands. So do collect uh, one, two, three, however many you need for your family palm crosses. So for this Sunday, it'll be lovely for that. And we'll be looking at Mark uh, chapter 11, verses 1 to 11, with Jesus coming, the unexpected king, and I'll be preaching on that on Sunday morning. And then, of course, at 11.30, something very exciting is happening. Natalie, what is it? It's the APCM. APCM. <laughs> Great joy at Broadwater <laughs> Parish as we have another APCM. If you remember, the last one was only in October, so it doesn't seem that long ago. But do join us this Sunday. You should have had an invite uh, if you're on the electoral roll. Join us this Sunday at our APCM at 11.30. And then we have Holy Week, and a lot of things are happening, aren't they? So on Thursday, there'll be a Maundy Thursday service led by Gary and myself, uh, which will be available from 7.30 on Thursday evening. Then on Friday, there's three hours at the cross, uh, 12 o'clock, one o'clock or two o'clock, reflecting on that time when Jesus goes to the cross. So do join us at one of those three hours. The details should be in the newsletter this week. Then on Sunday, Easter Sunday, we will be celebrating Christ being risen. There will be an 8 o'clock service at St Stephen's. There will be a 10 o'clock service at Queen Street, St Mary's and at St Stephen's. How do we book on to those, Natalie? And so it should be an event on um, my church feed, so you should be able to see that on the events page. Um, but if you currently aren't on church feet and you would like to um, book on and get onto church feet, um, just ring up the office or email us. And the details will be um, on the website. Great. And they're the only three one needs to book for. And then the 11.45, there'll be a Book of Common Prayer service at uh, St Mary's as well. It'd be lovely if you could join us at one of those services. Children are welcome, uh, particularly to the 10 o'clock services. Um, Carl and Vladka will be helping me at St Mary's and enabling all of us to enjoy um, Easter Sunday. Then after that, the Sunday after that, There'll be other services, all will be in the newsletter, so watch that space. Do keep praying for Beth and Natalie as they help us 
um, through ministry here in Broadwater. Bless you. Have a very good week.